One of the most beneficial things I've added to my Ableton sets and my programming over the past couple of years is a slate track. Now, the way I think about a slate track is it's the slating the song or saying the song name at the top of the song. So for example, this song, I had some help. If I press play. I had some help. You'll hear the name of the song. And then throughout the song, I have what I call cues. And that's verse one, two, three, four. Uh, I might have some counts. I might just say solo. Um, but the slate has been really helpful. It's helpful, one, if you're on stage and your computers are away from you, if you've got like a redundant playback server set up. It's also helpful to make sure you're on the right song uh, before you hear the song to avoid the Ashley Simpson S SNL type scenario. Um, so let me show you how I create these and I'll share a free utility that you can use to create as many slates as you want as well. So first thing I should mention is I use the AI cues player that I created. Um, that has multiple voices uh, built into it. And um, it, we've got pre-made cues built already, like verse, uh, chorus, post. Uh, the cues you see here in my Ableton set, those are pre-made and I've programmed my song. That's a separate video for another day. But uh, when it comes to the slate tracks, I want to be able to have this, the song name at the top of the song and use the same exact voice that I use for the cues. Now that's not just like a OCD habit type thing. Uh, I think it's really beneficial because if your band is setting the in-ear level for cues and then suddenly there's this other voice that's maybe your voice, um, that's probably going to be a different level. It's certainly going to be a different EQ and it's just going to make it difficult for people to manage that. It's one of those small little things that I've found that makes a difference when it comes to uh, doing playback and allows a band to be a little more free and flexible on stage. All right, so I'm going to head to cues.fromstudiotostage.com completely free. Uh, you want to choose your voice. I'm going to choose voice one. There's five voices. These are all the same AI generated voices that I use to create the AI cues player. If you're not using the cues player, just pick one of the five that you like. You can set your language. And then I'm going to type dance the night away. That's the song that I'm creating the cue for. Click generate audio. Uh, I have the option to preview it. Let's listen. Dance the night away. Perfect. Works great. Sometimes it takes a couple tries. You know, we're in the era of AI being like 75% correct about a uh, hundred percent of the time and so if it's not correct hit regenerate and you'll get another try at it uh, maybe a different timbre uh, maybe it doesn't say it like it's asking a question um, but if you're fine with that click download wave that's going to give you a wave file and then what you could do is drag that directly from your downloads folder into your ableton set now i have a song title slate track which is an audio track that i can drop this in um, but this comes in as a wave file into my ableton set one thing I like doing is I trim the beginning so that there's no extra space. So I can unfold my song title slate track. Let's zoom in to the beginning of this file. And I'm going to click at the beginning of this, hold command, drag to the right about there. And I'm going to move this to the beginning. What I may also do is I might carve out my count. So if my count, for example, or my cue say one, two, three, four, I might want to hear dance the night away, two, three, four, for example. So let's press play listen i'm actually not sure what this cue is going to do so we'll see dance the night away two okay one two three four great so that's actually perfect uh that happens on beat one or measure one and then it looks like we have um our count that's just two three four yeah beat one uh one two three four then we're in so that's perfectly fine for me um again that's been a really helpful thing just to give the band reassurance of what song we're actually on uh, if I'm um, away from the computer doing a, re a remote playback server, it gives me reassurance that the song that, uh, that I press play on is the correct song. And it gives me a measure, maybe two measures, to stop things if they were incorrect, which is great. So if you want to get access to that, again, completely free, cues.fromstudiotostage.com. Uh, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.